Charlotte Log 058, May 19th, 2020. Whatever you find in flexibility, maintain in strength. That is a working concept from my teaching the last decade that only found its way into language just now. And it was through work with you all last week that it bubbled up into that level of sort of concrescence. And so I wanted to articulate it. This is not a totally universal concept, I don't think, but it's a really good one. So I wanted to put it down in language. It's one of these weird benefits of this time is there is some etching down of working concepts that we've got to find in the language because this is what we've got for the time being. So this moon. This is again, like there are a few of you who are all strength and the flexibility is the work. But for the majority of us, the difference between this and this is strength, right? And very often this flexibility move with the, you know, the cheat of the arms getting into the hip flexion is easier than this. So what you find in flexibility, that hip flexion, maintain in strength. This came up again last week when we were talking about this teaching in the tradition of have a strong waist or have a tight stomach or build your jatada agni in any forward bend. So the, the cheap way to explore anything like a, you know, parangushtasana, or um, Uttanasana would be to use your hands, you've done this one, right? To kind of pull your body deeper into a forward bend, right? The way that it shows up in the beginning of the standing series in Ashtanga is we'll overuse the trapezius, we'll like use that to get in, right? The move in a forward bend is to get it in here, right? So you find from your flexibility this depth of a forward bend Question is, can you maintain that with strength? Okay. And the final illustration of this concept that actually gave birth to it was a discussion with Alana about advanced backbending. So you get into the advanced series and you're definitely moving into the full, full functional length of so many muscles you never knew you had. And we do these really, really deep backbends. And then the challenge in the long run, not just in the context of the practice, but in the context of a life, I would say is any space you find in flexibility. In this case, it would be for deep backbending. Most of the space you're finding is again in here, but in you know this direction of extending of the spine. For the rest of your life, you are to maintain that space that you created with strength, right? So it means a life of deciding to stay stable in the body and to actually maintain the, the structural integrity that's acquired to support your flexibility. So flexibility is really a, like you're building the aperture, right? And then you fill that aperture with increasing amounts of stability and strength. So you can test out this concept, you know, it's just being born, I don't know its limits yet, but I actually think I've been working with this one implicitly all the way through. So be strong, have a good practice. Let me know if this one works for you as a verbal concept. Take care, see you soon.